Fully Wire Mod here. This is tutorial 4B in the Expression 2 series where I'll be covering mathematical examples using vectors. So let's start with outputs. We can uh, define multiple vectors right here by saying ABC in these brackets are of type vector. And I'll individually label A, B, and C of type vector. And then we're going to have X, Y, Z, which are going to be numerical outputs. So let's start by defining A. We'll say A is a vector of 0, 0, 0 to keep it simple. And then we have B is a vector of 1, 2, 3. And we're going to have C is A plus B. So what's going to happen is A's x value is going to be added to B's x value, A's y value to B's y value, and A's z value to B's z value. So let us set this up so we can actually output these values onto screens. So just like last time, we're going to take C's individual x, y, and z and assign it to the output of x, y, and z. Awesome. So let's go grab some screens. So we'll have an x right here, a y right here, and a z. Alrighty. And wire it up. x to x, y to y, and z to z. Right, we'll go back to expression 2 chip, and as you can see, here's the results of A plus B, 1, 2, 3, which is very much right. So we can actually take the negative value, or subtract it, and we'll get the negative variant of this, because anything minus 0 is its negative form, or 0 minus anything is its negative form, and then we will do a division, and everything will be 0. 0 divided by anything 0, and multiplication, 0, 0, 0 again. But what if we want to override the uh, values that are set? So let's put negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Well, we can say that c is equal to c, and then we'll say set x to 100, and that will override um, this, because this, um, you remember the order operations in the previous video, tutorial 3. This will say x is equal to 100 after this is done. So there you go. And you can also do that for y and z as well. No problem. But what if we want to get positive values when we have a negative result? Well, you can take the absolute value of the vector by saying positive. And whatever is in parentheses will be turned from negative to positive. You can shift the vector, so let's take vector b, and say c is equal to vector b shifted to the left by 1. So it's going to take all this, it's going to put x into the z, the z into the y, and the y into the, z, uh, into the x. And likewise, for shifting right, it'll do the opposite. You can take the modulus, which means you're going to be uh, dividing by some number right here. You're going to be dividing this vector and all three of its components by this, and it's going to return the remainder in the x, y, and z components accordingly. So 1, 2, and 3 divided by 10 each yield a remainder of 1, 2, and 3 respectively. So other than that, that's going to conclude the uh, basics of mathematical operations with vectors that you're likely going to be using in the future. Next, I'm going to be going into owner position, entity position, and soon apply force and all that fun stuff. So I will see you then.